Hi everybody and welcome to Chelsea Groton Banks Facebook video. Today we're crafting with Chelsea and we're making scrunchies. So scrunchies are a great first sewing project for any um, child or adult. Um, they're great because kids, um, they're easy to make and kids um, can either use them or give them to a parent or a friend. And um, so it it is in style right now and it's something that they can use. So the things that we're gonna need for this project are a piece of cloth, um, a, just a strip. This one happens to be a leftover. It is about three and a half inches wide. Um, we need a needle and thread um, and a hair elastic. This is just one that I didn't like because it has the reflective coating on it and it pulls up my hair um, and a pair of scissors. Okay. So the first thing that you're gonna do is fold your piece of cloth in half. Now, um, I am not um, a novice sewer. I am, um, I am a pretty, um, I've been sewing for quite a while. So I'm not gonna use needles and thread, uh, needles to pin this together. I'm just going to um, keep the edges together. But if you have kids and you think that um, ironing it along the seam so that it stays that like just in half or putting a needle or two in to help them keep it all together. Um, that is a great idea. So the first thing that we're going to do is um, start on the folded side. We're going to put our needle through. We're going to make sure that there is a knot at the end of our thread so it doesn't pull all the way through. Okay, so so it holds there and then we're just going to start sewing. So we're gonna make sure we're not too close to the edge so that the stitches don't pull out, but we don't wanna to be too far down either. And then we're just gonna make some small um, stitches in and out, weaving the needle in, in and out through the fabric, okay? So like this. Um, kids can start, um, with just doing down through and back up and then down through and then back up through, okay? Um, until they become confident, um, you know, getting that done and then they can start weaving the needle. I'm not going to go all the way to the edge because I, when I turn this corner and start down the long side, I want to make sure that I am not again too close to the edge so that my seams, so that I'm catching both pieces of fabric and my seat and it doesn't pull out all on the seam. So then I'm going to sew all the way down along this side, all the way to the end. And then when I get to the end, I'm gonna sew um, over and over and over on top of itself like three or four times to end that stitch and cut it off. Um, I am not gonna make you guys sit here and watch me for the next um, 10 minutes sew a piece of cloth. So I'm gonna cut that off and I have one that I have um, pre-sewn for you. So it's this one, okay. So again, I've sewn all the way down, and when I got to the end, you can see that I just kind of sewed three or four loops all on top of each other, and then um, cut it off, okay? Now, you're gonna take your hair elastic and just cut it so that you end up with the full length of the hair elastic. Now, on the seam that we sewed at the top, not the open side, but the one that we sewed together, we're going to put this hair elastic. Okay, so you're gonna want to extend past the edge of the fabric a little bit with the hair elastic, okay? So that it doesn't easily pull out of the stitches, okay? So then we're gonna just um, put another line of stitches here at the end, sewing in that hair elastic. Okay, when you do the hair elastic, when you get to that 
part, okay, it's a little tough to get through, so weaving in and out isn't really possible. I like to go right up through the middle of it so that I'm sure to get it, okay, and then down the other side. Now, instead of continuing on, I'm gonna go back and do it again so that I make sure that when um, I attach this hair elastic to the other side, it doesn't, when I make the full circle and I go to put it around my hair, I'm not ripping the elastic out of the stitch. Okay, so you might need to help your kids with this part just to make sure that they're getting that elastic sewed on really well. Okay, all right. So then I finish going across the top again. So the end is sewed together really well. So again, I'm going to, and I'll show you on this one, finish my stitch. So I'm going to go through um one time oops it's hard to show you here i'm going to go through one time two times and three times so that the stitch does not just pull out Okay, um, when I cut it off. All right, so then I'm gonna trim my extra um, thread plus my needle off the back. Now I have this. So I have a tube that's inside out with a weird piece of elastic. All right, so then you're gonna take the end and kind of tuck it in a little bit because we need to turn this tube inside out. So the easiest way to do it is using your pair of scissors or you can use a pencil if you've got one with an eraser on it that's longer. So I'm just gonna turn it enough so that there's like a little pocket there, okay? Then I'm gonna take my pair of scissors and um, hold it inside the pocket and then I'm gonna pull down all of the fabric so it's all gathered up and I'm pushing the end that I had sewn together through the other side, okay? So now I have all of this fabric gathered up and I'm holding the piece that I had sewn together and then I'm just simply going to push it inside out. All right, so if I was smart, I would have grabbed the elastic on the way through, but I didn't. So now I'm left with this tube and my elastic is way up here, but I need to get it down here. So then just um, gather your scrunchie up. Again, you can push the elastic through like you would um, if you lost your drawstring on um, a sweatshirt or something. This one happens to Hair elastics are great for this because they have some um, little bit of body to them, so they're easy to find. But if you are making masks or something like that, and you have that quarter inch or half inch elastic, that would work perfectly fine too. So again, you can see I'm scrunching down there and getting the end of my elastic to come out the top. Okay, so here's the end of my elastic. So what I'm going to do is tuck maybe a quarter of an inch, fold the top quarter of an inch of my fabric in, okay? Because if you don't, when you sew this together, um, you're going to see the frayed ends of the fabric. So I'm just going to turn in the maybe a quarter of an inch of fabric while I'm holding my elastic, okay? Again, I'm gonna let it stick out a little bit so that I make sure to catch it all. You can trim it off if you want. All right, and then I am just going to sew the end. Now, 
When you do this, make sure again, you've got a knot or something in the end of your thread so that it doesn't pull through. Now, I'm going to come in here to the inside of that little quarter of an inch that I flipped over, okay? So I'm coming into the inside. So my knot is now gonna be on the inside. Now I'm going to grab, instead of going through up and down like this, and kids absolutely can, but if you don't wanna be able to see that stitch, you're just gonna grab, I'm trying to show you here, the inside of the fabric so that your stitch is hidden and pull it through and then inside on the other side and pull it through and then back and forth to the grabbing the inside of the fabric. Now, when I get to the elastic, um, I'm gonna go straight through the elastic again, okay? Just so that I'm sure to make sure to grab it. So you might be able to see my stitch a little bit, but if you make the stitches small enough, it won't be noticeable. I'm using red thread on navy blue fabric, so it's very easy to see, but um, if you can, you know, match your um, thread to your fabric and it will be very hard to see. All right, so then after I get past that, I'm gonna start catching the insides again so that you can't see my stitches. Okay, all the way across. All right, and again, I'm just going to end this stitch by going one, two, three times. All right, now um, I'm gonna just trim this little bit of mess off right here, okay, because it was sticking out. All right, so then I'm going to find the other end of my scrunchie now, and I am going to make straighten it out, and make sure that the ends that I'm putting together are the matching sides. The side that I just did that you might be able to see some of the stitching on, I'm going to put underneath and I'm gonna match the two sides together. I didn't cut off the thread, I just ended it. So if this were to break, um, hopefully you will be able to um, just sew it back together. And I am going to start stitching, all right. So what I'm going to do is catch the sides. All right, and then I'm going to come around the front. I'm going to come around the front and I'm going to just do what I did on the end and just catch the insides of both. Tucking the stitches inside. All right, if you can grab those elastics, and make sh see if you can um, stitch both of the elastics together. Great, if you can't, um, it should be okay as long as your stitches are um, strong enough to hold. I double up my thread when I sew instead of leaving it single, only because it's a little bit stronger, okay? And when you get to the end, again, you're just going to Go one, two, three times through so that it stays. Oops. One, two, three times through, and then I'll cut my thread off. And I have made myself a hair scrunchie. Really cute, really pretty, um, easy for kids to make. If you've got leftover fabric, it's a great fun project to keep them busy. So have a great weekend and we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.